Hebrew Israelite Bible Study The Three Mysteries of Enoch, Written to the Last Generation of the Elect of True Israel The Book of Enoch Chapter 102, 4-6 Fear ye not, ye souls of the righteous, and be hopeful ye that have died in righteousness. And grieve not if your soul into Sheol has descended in grief, and that in your life your body fared not according to your goodness, but wait for the day of the judgment of sinners and for the day of cursing and chastisement. And yet when ye die the sinners speak over you, as we die, so die the righteous, and what benefits do they reap for their deeds? Chapter 102, 7-8 Behold, even as we, so do they die in grief and darkness, and what have they more than we? From henceforth we are equal. And what will they receive and what will they see forever? Behold, they too have died, and henceforth forever shall they see no light. Chapter 102, 9-11 I tell you, ye sinners, ye are content to eat and drink and rob and sin, and strip men naked, and acquire wealth and see good days. Have ye seen the righteous how their end falls out, that no manner of violence is found in them till their death? Nevertheless they perished and became as though they had not been, and their spirits descended into Sheol and tribulation. Mystery 1. Chapter 103, 1-3. Now, therefore, I swear to you, the righteous, by the glory of the great and honored and mighty one in dominion, and by his greatness I swear to you. I know a mystery and have read the heavenly tablets, and have seen the holy books, and have found written therein and inscribed regarding them, that all goodness and joy and glory are prepared for them, and written down for the spirits of those who have died in righteousness, and that manifold good shall be given to you in recompense for your labors, and that your lot is abundantly beyond the lot of the living. Chapter 103, 4. And the spirits of you who have died in righteousness shall live and rejoice, and their spirits shall not perish, nor their memorial from before the face of the Great One unto all the generations of the world, wherefore no longer fear their contumely. Chapter 103, 5-6. Woe to you, ye sinners, when ye have died, if ye die in the wealth of your sins. And those who are like you say regarding you, Blessed are the sinners, they have seen all their days. And how they have died in prosperity and in wealth, and have not seen tribulation or murder and life, and they have died in honor, and judgment has not been executed on them during their life. Chapter 103, 7-8 Know ye, that their souls will be made to descend into Sheol and they shall be wretched in their great tribulation and into darkness and chains and a burning flame where there is grievous judgment shall your spirit enter, and the great judgment shall be for all the generations of the world. Woe to you, for ye shall have no peace. Chapter 103, 9-10 Say not in regard to the righteous and good who are in life, in our troubled days we have toiled laboriously and experienced every trouble, and met with much evil and been consumed and have become few and our spirit small. And we have been destroyed and have not found any to help us even with a word, we have been tortured and destroyed, and not hoped to see life from day to day. Chapter 103, 11-12 We hoped to be the head and have become the tail, we have toiled laboriously and had no satisfaction in our toil, and we have become the food of the sinners and the unrighteous, and they have laid their yoke heavily upon us. They have had dominion over us that hated us and smote us, and to those that hated us we have bowed our necks but they pitied us not. Chapter 103, 13-14 We desired to get away from them that we might escape and be at rest, but found no place whereunto we should flee and be safe from them. And we complained to the rulers in our tribulation, and cried out against those who devoured us but they did not attend to our cries and would not hearken to our voice. Chapter 103, 15 
and they helped those who robbed us and devoured us and those who made us few, and they concealed their oppression, and they did not remove from us the yoke of those that devoured us and dispersed us and murdered us, and they concealed their murder, and remembered not that they had lifted up their hands against us. Chapter 104, 1-3 I swear unto you, that in heaven the angels remember you for good before the glory of the Great One, and your names are written before the glory of the Great One. Be hopeful, for aforetime ye were put to shame through ill and affliction, but now ye shall shine as the lights of heaven, ye shall shine and ye shall be seen, and the portals of heaven shall be opened to you. And in your cry, cry for judgment, and it shall appear to you, for all your tribulation shall be visited on the rulers, and on all who helped those who plundered you. Chapter 104, 4-6 Be hopeful, and cast not away your hopes for ye shall have great joy as the angels of heaven. What shall ye be obliged to do? Ye shall not have to hide on the day of the great judgment and ye shall not be found as sinners, and the eternal judgment shall be far from you for all the generations of the world. And now fear not, ye righteous, when ye see the sinners growing strong and prospering in their ways, be not companions with them, but keep afar from their violence, for ye shall become companions of the hosts of heaven. Chapter 104, 7-9 and, although ye sinners say, all our sins shall not be searched out and be written down, nevertheless they shall write down all your sins every day. And now I show unto you that light and darkness, day and night, see all your sins. Be not godless in your hearts, and lie not and alter not the words of uprightness, nor charge with lying the words of the Holy Great One, nor take account of your idols, for all your lying and all your godlessness issue not in righteousness but in great sin. Mystery 2. Chapter 104, 10-11. And now I know this mystery that sinners will alter and pervert the words of righteousness in many ways, and will speak wicked words, and lie, and practice great deceits, and write books concerning their words. But when they write down truthfully all my words in their languages, and do not change or minish aught from my words but write them all down truthfully all that I first testified concerning them. Mystery 3. Chapter 104, 12-13. Then, I know another mystery, that books will be given to the righteous and the wise to become a cause of joy and uprightness and much wisdom. And to them shall the books be given, and they shall believe in them and rejoice over them, and then shall all the righteous who have learned therefrom all the paths of uprightness be recompensed. Chapter 105, 1-2 in those days the Lord bade them to summon and testify to the children of earth concerning their wisdom, show it unto them, for ye are their guides, and a recompense over the whole earth. For I and my Son will be united with them forever in the paths of uprightness in their lives, and ye shall have peace, rejoice, ye children of uprightness. Amen. Shalom.